Hey guys, so I have quite a random vlog to share with you today. Basically, since the last time I vlogged, I've been taking clips here and there. So in this video, I'm just sort of gonna jam them together as cohesively as I possibly can. And um, yeah, we are on a holiday today. So I've got lots to do and I kind of want to vlog my holiday, but I don't want to put that up until all the footage that I've got now is up and out. Um, so it kind of gives me a reset, a clean slate of starting again if that makes sense so yeah firstly me and danny are in the man cave and he's making me some like plant stands so that's what this video starts with do you remember how much they were uh three well these are the four millimeter ones not the five millimeter ones and these are three pound eighty i believe from wix still works out a lot cheaper than buying them pre-made yeah the reason why I'm using tape is so I can, when I clamp it, you don't get that pattern inside there. All right. But if you've got if you've got proper if you've got proper pads, you generally don't need matter. to use that. And this is the first take as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the diameter. Cool. You, that that'd be great. What was the other shape? Oh, God, look at the shape. And it needs to go up dead straight again. So when it stands into the ground, it goes up and then out. If that makes sense. Yeah. So it's got a little kink here, hasn't it? Yeah, it needs to be. Cool. So that's that's up and then that way. Does that make sense? Yep. But on the picture, you had a little kink in here. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Really? Yeah, okay. I just want it to be... Cool. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I can now just cut the rest of it off. Uh, That's exactly what I wanted nice and tall as well the ones i saw like on ebay and stuff they're tiny they're like 50 centimeters tall so that's for tiny little plants whereas the gladiolas are like huge well this is yeah how tall is that one that's 50. uh 82. 82. that's really good thank you Danny's starting to get the wooden frame in for the nook and I'm thinking it's going to be absolutely huge. So for the base we have concrete and then these metal things to hold the post in place. Danny's workbench and his protection from the rain. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it keeps falling down. You need me to help? Yes. Okay. Put your finger there. I can do that. Excellent. getting there it's amazing how big it is really but I think once there's flower beds in front of it it was you get used to things don't you it's like when when we built this I was like wow it takes up so much space it is just but you get used to it so what would you put in here we're thinking seating area or we're thinking like a bar and a pool table because obviously it will have a roof at some point but yeah what would you put in there Ella, watch this. She's not as keen in crawling for a toy, but if you give her the remote, Ella gets determined. Oh, go on, gal. You're doing it. You're doing it. So I picked up this tie-dye kit from Aldi's and I love the pastel colours. I'm going to do Ella's Baby Grows. She has a ton of just the plain white. 
sleep suits and baby grows and I think it'd be really fun to make them really pretty. I've still got a couple that I'm going to keep for white if she needs to wear a white one but the majority of them white's well, boring I'm thinking. So it does come with elastic bands in there but I grabbed a load more because I'm doing a load. So it comes with these powders and then the bottles. just like twist like a corkscrew and it should create that swirl if we're lucky do it on the grass that way it doesn't matter if it seeps through I'm scared to do it on um, the table or on my patio the grass don't really matter right, I'm gonna go get the, um, the bottles of tie-dye Can you get me a big play? Yeah. Hello, baby. Yeah, if you could get me a plate to put these on, that would be great because at the moment. Yeah, put it in the middle. Thank you so much. I don't know why I didn't think of that. This is fun. Do you want to have a go? You can do it however you want it. Like, I'm, I done this one that way, I done this one that way, but honestly, you can just take one and just like, ah, that it. Come around this side, so, and I'll put this in the middle. I'll do one. Yeah? yeah. <sighs> you can mix colours as well. You can mix them, yeah. Mm. You wanna have a go, Cameron? No. I wonder what They're time very bright colours, though. Like I know they're a lot brighter than I thought they would be. Oh, little girl. I think I'm going to do this one next. I love it. So we didn't have enough for that one. There was extra, extra pouches of the dye. So at a later date, I'll find some more white things that I want to do, but I'm going to leave that one for now. I'm not going to mix up a whole nother batch. Um, isn't it amazing that depending on how much you use, depends on what sort of color you'll get. So being very light handed, you get this kind of color where the colors are really, really vivid. The more you mix them up, the deeper you penetrate. Look how dark this is this is more of a moody and this is more light but this was the same the same colors so I need to let these dry for about six hours 
and then I'll untie them and we'll see what they look like. Ella! Ella! Did you have a nice sleep then? Did you have a nice sleep then? Yeah? <laughs> Bo! Bo! Should I tie dry that pretty dress? No. No, I <laughs> really like that dress. It's a nightmare to keep it white, but it's very pretty. So Danny has done a ton on the nook. He's off for three weeks after his current set of shifts. So then he'll start working on the roof. I'll keep you updated anyway. You're not meant to be eating your pretty dress. <laughs> You're not meant to be eating it. There you go, it's that kind of day. She has this really pretty dress. She's never worn it, so I was thinking before she grows out of it, let's let's put it on that pretty dress. <coughs> yeah, tell me them diddy baggins. <coughs> I can see them. I can see them, Bubba's. <coughs> yeah, pretty dress. <coughs> and my <coughs> witch's hat will suit that amazingly, so that's going to be a picture today. Yes, it is. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, Bubba. You can just show me some dancing. Ella, show me some dancing. <coughs> Give a girl. Pretty dancing. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> it's definitely a witch's day because it's Friday the 13th. <coughs> yes, it is. <coughs> yes. <coughs> Ella was born on Friday the 13th. So in celebration. I'm scared that she's going to chew up this tutu material though with them toothy baggins yeah. yeah oh it's so pretty it's so pretty I'm just letting my hair dry so don't mind me bees have been out here all night and they're still damp um, <laughs> I'm gonna undo them anyway I'm interested to see what they look like. You can hear barking, it's not Pixie, it's my neighbour's dog, just in case you're wondering. Oh my gosh, I love it! How cute is that? I love that, that's so cute. I'm just gonna leave it on the line so it finishes drying. I think they turned out really, really nice. They're definitely not as pastel. Maybe this one's more pastel than the others. This one came out really nice. It's all in how you fold it. So this one, I folded this way, obviously, and then this one I folded it at an angle. It's got a really good swirl on it. It's like a little monster handprint. It's Liam's one. I'm just going to let them dry and then I'll rinse them through with cold water. I'm going to go and scrub my hands. <laughs> There's nothing left of you in a minute. You can't move. <laughs> you can't move. Your little head just popping up. <laughs> Do you want me to help you out, Billy? Yeah, I'll help you. Oh my god, you're actually stuck. <laughs> oh my gosh. Careful. Ready? One, two, three. Can we move yet? Decided it's time for the sweet peas to be pulled out. I've got loads of pods that are dry, so I'm going to save the seeds. They were so pretty, but 
they're past their best they need to go and then i also dug out my witch hazel plant and i gave that to sherry because i was over it danny's done so much on the nook <laughs> It's come a long way since I last recorded it. Very exciting. Yeah, we good. Everything's winding down now. Nothing's, nothing's looking amazing. Liam, sunflower sure is though. The flower's not there, but it's so tall. This sweet pea still looks really good. I don't know if I should leave this one up or if I just turn them both down. My heather is flowering, so because of the way this looks, you can't really see it. So, yeah, I'm gonna pull that out. I literally just pulled it out from the top and the whole thing came out. It looks very bare now. I am missing the height already. But I do have some asters out the front. They look really, really leggy. So I think actually they would do better here in this full sun spot. And just watering the garden. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.